Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Friday morning, 27th of May, 2022. And it's just a quick video to say what a beautiful day in the English countryside. And hoping for some wind. It was quite windy yesterday. I'm not sure how windy it's going to be today. I'd say it's about 10 miles an hour at the moment. And the turbine's spinning, so that's good news. Yo, it's Friday the 27th of May, 2022. And one project I need to do next week is to sort this out so that I can mount these blades, ones off the Chinese wind turbine, onto this thing. And I know it looks a bit rusty, but it doesn't really matter. All the bearings are fine. This was the drive shaft off my uh, effort, my smart drive effort. So the plan is to put this on the electric bike, wind turbine, with this gear. And the problem comes with this because the Chinese wind turbine had a tapered shaft, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, it's 24 mil wide at the top, where you can see here, and the shaft is 25 mil. Uh, it starts at the bottom as 27 mil and tapers to 24. So literally, if I can fairly accurately remove one mil from around there, and then I will use these collars. Uh, I've got three at the moment. I might have more somewhere. Uh, so the plan is to have two on one end and two on the other end. I'm just going to flip it over, show you the other end. Now, this is what the other end looks like. So you can see in here, I'm not sure if you can see the tapering, but this is 27 mil this end and 24 the other end. So when I put a 25 mil collar on, and if you can see that that is two mil wider than the actual collar itself. The problem comes with the alignment has to be perfectly uh, vertical, but it can be done. And with two of these either side perfectly lined up, there'll be plenty of places to uh, secure the drive shaft in properly. It's already got a pretty good hold there. The problem's gonna come with the tail, I think being way too small. But the obvious benefit of this, these blades is they will work in lower wind. They will definitely spin that motor in a lot lower wind speed than the uh, existing ones that are on there at the moment. Let's give that a quick clean up. Nice whiff of wind there and she's away. What a beauty. See, the thing is, those two sets of blades kind of balance each other out perfectly. Whereas with one big set of blades, on the front, it may induce wobble. Let's quickly see what the meat is doing. And as soon as I go to the shed, it stops. Anyway, I've given that a bit of a clean up. If you can see, the, there's probably the best angle I can get. So you can see the taper. The keyway, that's just gonna stay there. It's not really gonna make a big difference to what I wanna do. All right, it's away again. There's the security alert, dogs. <laughs> Soon as I start filming it, it starts slowing down. That's a bit more like it. It's looking a bit better, I think I'm going to have a cup of tea. She's a beauty. That's just a tiny little bit of wind. That's why I run it in 12 volts sometimes. I'm planning to potentially use this weight as a kind of flywheel balancer type thing. Uh, so at some stage I'll have to remove these bearings. They need to go to render this old uh, welding. Look at that. So if you can see that, it says 28 on the, this gear sprocket. Sweet.
They're two different alignment holes. And that is the gear. And that is 28 teeth. Sweet! Hey. So that's good news, that's all that pretty much cleaned up and what I wanted to do is polish that, just make get a good layer of uh, auto salt on it and then it won't go rusty. Probably give these a good clean up, give these a good clean up as well and then we'll be in business. You notice the wind's coming from a different direction today where it's not so obstructed because normally it's coming from that direction right where those trees are so yes this is the same size as what i plan to use so i want to rescue it for a couple of reasons you can see better from this angle that there's nothing really blocking the turbine behind and nothing really from that way those trees aren't very tall they're not really in the way This came undone surprisingly easily. I'm not sure this thing will just come off, if I'm honest. We'll leave it to soak in the uh, W. This thing is running a tree. So now we need to try getting this off. I'm sure it will come off, it's just going to take a bit of uh, meat and two veg. I just changed it on to uh, 12 volt. It's going to make more power that way. Might blow my batteries up though, so I better be careful. Just got blown right out of the wind then. Let's see if it finds its own way back. Don't seem keen. I'm sure it will. I don't know if we can use this, but keep it anyway. In the way. It's still rusty, so I'll have to clean that first before it'll come off properly. Oh, it's very spinny. It's very spinny. Hey, oh, the bearing's stuck in there. Those bushes are whizzing. Give it a clout. Give me. Oh, pull this lot. What a beauty. I ain't lying, she is a whizzing. She is a whizzing. So, this is the loop. These 
some of these older bearings, I think, I think these two are one inch and the rest is sort of 25 mil. They're the three bearings that are gonna hold the shaft in place. Placed. There's the shaft, I'm not sure how long it is, I'll get tape measure in a minute. And this bit, why I wanted to salvage this bit, is so that if need be, I can extend this using that. That would be sweet, wouldn't it? Yeah, boy, but that's all good. Soon the attention will go to the other end of this and trying to enlarge it to 24 millimeters. Sorry, enlarge it to 25 from 24. Remember this side, 27, the bottom side, 24. The bottom side needs to be 25. It's a bit like a wind turbine graveyard. They come to get thrashed. Will they survive a whole winter of random experimentation? It's looking pretty good at the minute. They're all going to get sprayed up properly. Yep, they're all going to get sprayed up properly. Especially these. Clean first, obviously.